Hey guys, it's me again, Ron Williams. Welcome back to the Ron Williams YouTube channel. Listen, I want to give you a keto update. Now the keto has been going great. I've been taking the creatine this whole time. And I'm gonna tell you something, it's actually felt good to the muscles and the working out. I mean, I have no, it, it, it's really strange. I thought without the carbohydrates, my, my training would be affected. And you know, especially for the, the strength and the short burst, because eating the high amounts of fat, that's good for duration. And I'm gonna be explaining that a little bit more um, in one of the, the next several videos, but the fat is used more for duration and it's long-term. Now it's really something uh, special about fat. Fat, you can convert carbohydrates into fat, but you can't convert fat into carbohydrates. Have you ever thought about that? And the other thing with that is, is fat can be used as energy. But the number one source of energy are the carbohydrates, and that's your quick source or quick form of energy. So with this keto, I'm learning a few things, and that is this, that number one, each one of the energy systems produce ATP, and that's what really fuels the body, but they all produce ATP in a, in a different way, and with the phosphatric creatine, which is um, the first energy system, the explosive energy system, or the phosphagen system, that's where you get the big powerful muscle. And the second energy system, the lactic acid energy system, where you're building that definition and you're building, you know, intensity. And then the third energy system is the aerobic energy system, which is the duration, where you just go forever. And, you know, the fat is twice as many calories plus because it's made and it's designed for survival. So with the fat, it, it's the body wants to hold on to it for survival. But when you start doing endurance type activities, you're burning the fat. So with that being said, if I want to lose a tremendous amount of fat and I'm using a keto diet, I'm, do, I'm using the keto diet, I'm putting in a lot of the good essential fatty acids. Some people, they go on keto, they eat bacon grease, they eat you know, all types of things. But with this keto, I haven't eat, eaten any unhealthy fats. All of my fats that I consume are essential fatty acids and I'm not eating any fats that are cooked, meaning that my fats that are essential are olive oil, they're, um, it's the MCT oils, I'm taking in avocado oil, but I'm not cooking with the oils because even though some of the oils are actually more tolerant than others, three things destroy the oils, light, heat, and air. And people debate over that, you know, but light, heat, and air destroys oils, period. Uh, and if you put it under enough light, heat, and oil, it'll destroy it. So you tell me, how long does it take to destroy avocado oil? How long does it take to destroy uh, wheat germ oil? There is a time frame, right, if you just sit it out, where you emulsify that time frame by adding heat to it. You start cooking in it, it's going to transform. How do you think we get uh, trans fatty acids? It's a fat that's been transformed. It takes time, it takes heat, it takes light, it takes air. Expose it long enough, get it hot enough, give it enough light, it'll start to destroy it. That's another argument, and people will argue that all day long. But to be safe, I don't cook with oil. What you can, what you can fry, what you can fry with oil, you can also fry with water, and it tastes even better. I do it all the time, guys. So that's not going to be an argument. If you, if 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 if, if you write on my uh, YouTube channel, well, well, I cook with oil all the time. Help yourself. Go ahead and cook with oil, but I refuse to. I want to make sure I put the healthiest oils in my body as possible. So what the oils do is the body begins to utilize those essential fatty acids because they're alive. You know, saturated fat is stabilized at room temperature and it doesn't move. But the essential fatty acids are open bonds and they're alive and as they're going through the system, they attach themselves to the saturated fat and pulls the fat right out of your system. It also lubricates the arteries, the joints. Uh, it's good for your heart. 
So why would I ever put in something that is unhealthy like bacon grease when I can put in an olive oil or something that's really healthy for me? So with that being said, it's going really, really well. I'm still taking the creatine and we're going to keep you updated and I'm going to show you how to cook with water so that you too can do the same thing. Stop cooking in that grease and that Pam. Those are toxins for the body. We want to be healthy, so let's do the whole thing right. Let's not get a healthy protein that has a whole bunch of different MSGs in it and unhealthy substances. Let's get rid of the garbage and let's do it right, guys. God bless you. Till next time, hope you like this video. Coach out.